Cause Picture me rolling, box Chevy with them things on it. LS engine sounding like it's choking. No Corona, just that cam on that good gas. She loved the way that turbo sound when we going fast. Yep, 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 yep. Y'all see it? Just out here, man. A little late night. I was getting a little bored, man. I don't like to stay in the house like that, but. Man, y'all see, I started going round one for pressure washing. And y'all can see, wow, it took my time to hit the control arms and hit these uh, fender wells. Got the fender wells nice and clean. Got the firewall nice and clean. I got to get this down here nice and clean. Look at that. Even got the motor mount nice and clean, man. Transmission. Nice and clean, so I ain't got to get filthy when I pull it out. Yep, control dogs clean up pretty good. Um, I spray it down again tomorrow with some cleaner. Uh, tomorrow I spray a little something a little stronger on there, so I know I can cut through that grease right there. Um, I, I sprayed uh, uh, grease. What was it? Grease lightning on there today. Yep, grease lightning. So I ain't gonna lie, the grease lightning did pretty good cleaning up stuff and then hitting it with a uh, pressure washer from Harbor Freight. It did real good. So I ain't got no, no kind of complaints about that. No kind of complaints about that, man. You see it all back down the firewall. Look at that. Look at the AC box, man. The AC box probably ain't been that clean since the car were made so yeah we got a little bit more pressure washing to do gearbox got that all the way down everything once i clean everything up man i'm gonna get this rust up out of here once i get this rust down to the metal then i'm gonna start hitting it man i had some people tell me say poor 15 was garbage but uh I can't tell, man, because poor 15, if you get that on your hand, it going to be on there two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And and, and still, with the two weeks that I'm I'm giving you, you still going to have it stuck on there for uh, <laughs> probably longer than that. But you can see, man, it's cut down pretty good, though. Like that thick grease right there, you got to you gotta expect that. That sit right there up under the um, motor. So... But I got to get all that off, man, because I want to paint all that up. Even the lower control arms, man. I ain't even spray them good as I want. All this right here. Changing all that right there out. Uh, just ordered that stuff. So, that whole, all that all that coming. It's on the way. You know, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it. So, let's see it, man. Look at the wires. I had to get that grease up off the wires and stuff too. Crazy man. Harbor Freight pressure washer did the job. Spray my jug, everything. I'm gonna start pulling the mar. See, I pull most of the stuff out of here. Like the jug got to come out. You know what I'm saying? I'm still debating on whether I wanna take my. Uh, AC box out or not, being that I'm doing turbo, uh, just depending on where the turbo sit, how much room I got to run that pipe back down in there once I sit the motor in here. If I got enough room to run that pipe back down in between that down there, then I'm going to leave it. If not, then the AC box got to come out. But you can see all around here why well, I cleaned all that up right quick. Pressure wash all in there, man. This is just the beginning, man. This right here, just the beginning. All down there. I was standing on that right there yesterday and seeing how sturdy that right there was. This might look bad right here, but to be honest with you, like, that's pretty solid. It looked bad, it's pretty solid, so I'm going to take to that right there with a, uh, a brush. I got a sandblaster, but I'm going to take to it with the brush so I can bust it all the way down. And then I get my um, grinding or my uh, grinder and I put like an 80, 80, 
probably 80 grit flap this on it and then start cleaning it up all this start cleaning it up once i get it back down to the metal and everything then i'll be real content real content um all this here i'm gonna take this whole front cowl and all i still gotta do some body work to this so you can kind of see a little bit where i gotta raise that up or do my body work so that body line right there can meet that one um not too much on the sides i ain't gotta do too much on the sides but uh this side over here see just a little bit man it's just a little tad bit but i can get that done now with some fiberglass and just a little fiberglass on the corners to raise that up and get that nice and even <clears throat> um got some friends that's gonna be helping me with the paint work hopefully if the Lord's well. And the reason I'm out here late, um, man, I took yesterday off and I got three nieces, man. I can't even lie. Like, it's crazy because, you know, I usually put my personal business on the, on the internet like that. But, um, yeah, I took them to get tested, man. All three of them had COVID. Uh, so, you know, scary feeling because now I have to think about myself being exposed to it. Uh, just for taking them, but this is the thing. When you the closest thing that they got to them, you know they got a grandma. Their grandma rode with me too. Um, when you the closest thing they got to them, then you know you going you just gonna do what you got to do to keep them right. So with that being said, man, yeah, man, I had to take them down there, get them, get them tested for this thing, man. So uh, got them quarantined right now, off in their rooms or whatnot. Um, me, myself, I'm kind of quarantining myself. That's why I'm outside. I ain't even gonna lie. I feel good right now. I'm moving right now, so I'm gonna keep doing so. Um, if the Lord give me scrim. Um, with that being said, man, that's pretty much it on that, man. I'm gonna close this hood down for the night. I'll be back out here if the Lord's with tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I take to it with, um, my bucket. My bucket of either my pail right there. And I'm going to put me some nice warm water in there. I got a brush that I bought. Um, and then I got some more cleaner. And then I just take to it with the brush. And kind of, you know, take that, that hard bristle brush and just start brushing some of this grime up out of here. So I can make sure I got everything nice and clean or whatnot. Them fender wells. I'm going to unbolt them fender wells um, and take them all the way out. So that way when I spray them, I can actually get down to that and actually like spray them, spray them. And I'll be able to actually get inside the fenders themselves. So, I got to get that done. Definitely got to get that done. Under the hood, all this right here, man, I'm going to be real with you. Like, I'm going to try to uh, sandblast all of that. Get that back to where it need to be. Um, and it ain't going to take that long, man. It, it, it's a working process, man. I'm only one person, but... I mean, shoot, hey, no need to whine about it, man. Somebody got to do it. So, just wanted y'all to see that, man. And then I definitely, 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 I got to jump back on these doors and go ahead and get these doors trimmed all the way up. Um, I don't think I told y'all about it. The only problem I had was like, and you really can't even tell, to be honest with you, like this door right here, don't give me too much of a problem for some reason. Closing, no opening um, that I know of. So I'm kind of show y'all what I'm saying. But it does grab a little bit when you open it. And it's probably because I don't have the door all the way to the back right there. But it will. And no, uh, I lie. It don't grab. I think it's that door over there. But minor adjustments the back doors they open up fine i think it's just that door over there that's that's giving me a uh a problem so i'm gonna look over here and see what i got let you see what i got so you can see right there we kind of already didn't know what the problem is when you put these pieces right here back on they're gonna be rubbing the door right there so now 
with that being said, I don't see either. There's no more room for adjusting forward. So now I got to really come to a decision that I knew I was going to probably end up having to make is I got to take, I got to come here and I'm going to probably end up having to cut this right here. All this at the back, all the way down off. If not cut it, I'm going to have to cut it to an angle um, because that's what's grabbing. If you look right there, that's what's grabbing the side of my door. And that ain't even all the way on yet. So I'm going to have to put this trim back on and then see. Same thing with this door over here. I knew it was something about it, but same thing with this door over here. You notice I got the trim all. So that's why it's really not playing a major role with grabbing it right now. But that uh, that is the case. So it is the same thing with this right here. Um just kind of looking at them pillars, man. I can actually make more, but I ain't going to go through that. If I already got some right here, why well, make more? So um, I'm going to put the original ones back up, and then I'm going to just do what I got to do with the doors. So if I got to cut this and come in some, then so be it. I'm going to have to cut that and come in some. And then when I get ready to do my fiberglass work, I'm just going to have to build all that back up. It's time to look at everything. Uh, check everything out and see what I got to do. Uh, long time coming. Got to get back up here for one. And I got to drop this top down just a little bit so I can put that seal back in there. Switch that motor right there out. That motor does work, but that's not the right motor. So it doesn't give me a full open or close. It get, well, it doesn't give me a full close. It gives me a full open. Uh, that's be, be about it on that. Um, with that being said, yeah, that should be about it on that right there. So, that's the update, man. We're making some progress. Definitely making progress, man. So, um, that being said, like I said, this is what I was using. I'm going to keep my spray bottle, but same time, I just go back in there. Red. Let it sit overnight. And then I go in the house, I put my other cleaner in this bottle. Because I know this bottle work good. So we on the corners on this. We on the corners on this. Yeah, we on the corner on that. Definitely got me nice and clean, though. Definitely got me nice and clean. Yeah, we on the corners on that. Jug coming out tomorrow. No thing. Take my bottle in the house with me. Ugh. So I'm gonna close this hood down, man. We can go in the crib. All right, update, 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 update. So just the clean I was telling y'all about right here. The Harbor Freight Carry. Super heavy duty. I ain't even gonna lie. If y'all look back at my video, man, this is actually what I soaked the uh I soaked the engine in this. I soaked my heads. Uh in this, the uh, 317 heads in this. Um, and boy, you'd be surprised, cuz. You gotta you got put some gloves on, you working with this stuff right here. You go to Harbor Freight now, man, they, they, they used to just sell it. Now, you got to show ID to show that you over 18. So, uh, some other stuff that I got from the freight. Let me see it. Some heat shrink butt connectors. Heat shrink butt connectors. Probably said, hey, Rich, what you got the heat shrink butt connectors for? Some solder. You can put them wires together, man. You definitely got to have that solder. A lot of people just be taping. Uh-uh. 
I got to have that heat shrink buck connectors and them solder, 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 solder. But I do that right there. I got my, my wire storehouse, Harbor Freight also as well. Um, what else? I got it now. I got plenty of little tools inside there. That's Harbor Freight back right there. I got to put that the way that go in the work truck. Um, you know, some different little stuff that I got off in there. Some flex tubing, three A's. I got some other sizes as well in there. You watch me use these right here. The fiber disc on tomorrow. Get in tight spots or whatnot. But I got all that for them all there. Time to go ahead and get these wires right on this. So I'm going to go inside my box, get my wires, power this up, um, play with my signals uh, to see whether or not, you know what I'm saying, where my flasher wires is at. Uh, a connector that goes here that I got to plug in so you get some flashes out of this side as well as this side so I'm gonna play with my signals and see where I can get my headlight signal lights um, hazard lights uh, as well as my uh, ignition wires and stuff for the startup all that should come out of everything you see it i still got the camaro fuse box so for me still having the camaro fuse box that go inside the car just feed power to this right here and ground everything off to my ground that is where's my ground at that's one it's usually like three of them on here three grounds on here but anyhow like my boy <laughs> like my boy mr getting that be saying like anyhow but uh yeah man that's why i got the wire the wire storehouse so i can go ahead and start doing that R running my wires uh labeling my wires for everything for all this stuff right here so i can get shift to everything right there for the camera dash squad um the actual dash inside the storage um, these wires will also be used to run uh, certain things, uh, other things inside the car. And the reason why I got this right here, I'll, I'm going to tell y'all right now, it's very important to have the proper wire size. Because that's why a lot of people, they go to put stuff together. And then what happens is, if you don't have the proper wire gauge, or gauge the wire on a line man that's why your wires getting hot they get hot now your car on fire you feel what i'm saying so you got you got to have that right man you definitely got to have that right you know so um you can see it right there where it goes from 10 to 22 even got speaker wire in there zip cord wire bell wire you know what i'm saying so if you was trying to wire up a house a car whatever I ain't gonna say a house now, cause some of these wires right here, you definitely ain't gonna use on no house. But y'all get what I'm saying, man. Just to kind of keep y'all up to speed or whatnot um, on what's what. So we're gonna get this stuff right here done and go ahead and get it out the way. So oh, that's that on that. I'll put that back in the bag in a minute. That's the motor mounts. I ain't gonna say it. Well, yeah, you can say the motor mounts. I gotta put them on the block, so we'll be installing those onto the block. The LS, the Super LS, we'll be installing those right there. And then I gotta clean the clamshells, cause that's what the clamshells will be bolting up to. Oh, y'all see your boy. Your boy stay fresh. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Just giving y'all a little update, 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 update. Oh, what's going on, man? Because, uh, um, like I said, yeah, running around yesterday with my nieces. Um, today, 
I chilled for a little while today and then I had to do a little running around, take my daughter to work, um, take a little break for myself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I just decided to enjoy the weather because it felt so good. I ain't even gonna lie. Like I could have got out there today, man. It was 77, wind blowing. Felt good out there today, man. So I, I could have got out there today, but I wouldn't necessarily say it was me being lazy. It was just me taking time just to do me today. So uh, with that being said, man, y'all saw my board or y'all, I think y'all saw my board if y'all saw the last video. So I got a couple of uh, things that I can actually mark off. Oh yeah, another thing I know that I got to do, I got to drop that gas tank too. So um, definitely, um, I'm looking at the board right now. Uh, so it says install the engine mounts. That's that's the mounts that I just show y'all. Put them on the side of the block. Make sure they, you know, what I'm saying, torque down on the side of the block. Um, it says install the fuel tank, but I got to take the old fuel tank out before I can put the new one in. And then it says remove AC box. I don't know yet if I'm gonna remove the AC box because uh, I'm, I I want to have AC in the car. Um, so then again. Um, I could move it due to the fact that I can go with uh aftermarket uh air setup. You know what I'm saying? It says uh relay the electric fans. The electric fans that I do have um came off of uh actually newer model uh Chevrolet truck. So I uh, don't quite know if I'm gonna use those yet because I wanna be able to make my fan shroud where my fan shroud kinda holds all the air. Or whenever it pulls, it pulls all the air. You know what I'm saying? Out. Or whatever, so. And you can see Jordan here burning up something right now. So, let me go cut this off. Actually, he's not burning up nothing. Actually, he and him making something good. So, let me. Go stop this fire alarm right quick. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I'm at the board. So, I was sitting down trying to relax and look at the board. Y'all see, look, look, look where he at. Look where he at. Look, look, look. Oh. And he in here got the air fry going with egg rolls in it. Anyway, he said, anyhow, uh, degrees and pressure wash engine bay. That's what I was doing today. I want to check that off, but I ain't quite done with that yet. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow to check that off. Um, switching out the motor on the roof. i do that tomorrow so I can go ahead and get that out the way. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's pretty much about it, man. I got to, I got to think of some more things that I can actually add on here. Uh, I need to add the door panels back on here, to be honest with you. But what I think I'm going to end up doing, man, is I think I'm going to take me a marker tomorrow. And I think that's going to be my first job so that I don't have to work with dirty hands. I'm just going to jump in there, um, <clears throat> draw me. I'm going to put my uh, my pieces back on the door and then I'm just going to jump in there, close the door, draw me a straight line or whatever I got to draw. That's going to get me a nice uh, fit so I'll be able to close the door and I'm just going to make my cut, man, because I'm going to fiberglass this thing up and, and, and mark it up to make it custom regardless. So, uh yeah, man, I ain't gonna talk your head off, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Your boy Rich underscore everything with an A. You know, so if the Lord's will tomorrow, man, I know I'm talking pretty fast. Um, Got to pick my daughter up in like 30 minutes or so. So if the Lord's will tomorrow, I'll be back on camera. But we will be grinding. Today, I didn't show you the grind because it was kind of late. And I was out there just wanting to clean up under the hood tomorrow. I mean, tonight. So I can actually get an early start tomorrow on some other stuff. So with that being said, man, y'all know what to do, man. Hit that like button. Hit that, uh, my bad. Hit that subscribe button first. Then hit that like button. Then hit that bell for post notifications. Your boy Rich Everything, man. I'm out. Oh. Picture me rolling, box Chevy with them things on it. LS engine sounding like it's choking. No Corona, just that cam on that good gas. She loved the way that turbo sound when we going fast.